What's going on, everyone? It's me, your boy, Chris Hernandez, and I'm actually really excited for today's Should Your Kids Play? Because today we're reviewing one that really took me back to my childhood, and this one's called Indivisible. This is one that I had a lot of fun with. I'm a complete sucker for Japanese-esque role-playing games, and this one takes the turn-based combat of an old-school RPG game into the new age with a refreshing combat system that I, I will personally admit took a while for me to get used to. Another thing I loved about this game is that not only is the main character a person of color, but it is a female person of color who are highly underrepresented in video games. Let's go. Come on, we're on a roll this month with all of these diverse video games that we're taking a look at. So on top of this, the game features a very diverse cast of characters that you also don't normally see in games like this. Indivisible is an action role-playing platform game set in a fantasy world filled with monsters and bad guys to beat up. The game features a real-time turn-based combat system that sounds confusing, but essentially what I'm trying to say is that when the player is attacking, enemies can attack, and when the enemies are attacking, the player can only block. But let's talk more about this combat system. Each character's attacks are controlled by different buttons on your controller or keyboard. So if I'm using a controller, if I press X and then Y, I in turn do a combo attack with two different characters. So each button controls a different character. And as you level up your characters, you gain more and more usage of like these combos and stuff like that. And blocking enemy attacks is in real time as well. You can do this both individually with certain characters who are about to be attacked, but there are also area of effect attacks and you can block those as a whole group. You can also time your blocks, which will reduce the amount of damage your team or character receives. Now what about this social component? There isn't an online social component to this game, but this game is built for couch co-op, which means that any extra players needs to be with you in person to play the game. Yet again, another one. Let's bring back couch co-op. So this means it's a great game to play with your real life friends or even with family members so you can go on and just play this one with your kids. Additionally, players are able to control other characters, not Ajna, which by the way, that is the main character's name, as she will always be controlled by player one. But co-op adds an extra layer of complexity to the game as players would have to now coordinate attacks, special moves, healing, and even blocking. Now, broke this one off, new segment alert, time and replay value. This is the type of game where exploration is rewarded, and even a second playthrough can be worth your time. For the casual player, the main story is a little over 18 hours long. However, as I just said, exploration and a second New Game Plus playthrough can be really rewarding. The average player can expect to spend around 26 hours playing this game, while leisure players can spend up to 36 hours playing this game. These stats represent a single playthrough and not a New Game Plus. So what am I talking about? Well the game could potentially contain over 40 hours of game time. So what about the money? How much does this thing cost? Indivisible is available for Windows, Linux, Classic Mac, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. You can grab the game for Windows, Linux, and Classic Mac OS systems via the Steam Store for $39.99. You can grab the game on Nintendo Switch from the Nintendo Store for $29.99. You can grab it for PS4 and Xbox from their respective online stores for $39.99. So what's going on? What's the rating? What's my final approval? I'm going to say this game is great for players 8 and up. I loved RPG games as a kid, and this game is so beautiful with an easy-to-follow storyline. It can also be fast-paced at times, making it a unique game in the realm of RPG games. And lastly, I have to mention again just the diversity of this cast, man, this cast of characters. You don't normally see diverse cast of characters in RPG games, which again makes it really unique, really worth your time, and honestly, a great addition to your collection. And that has been it. That's, th this is me, Chris Hernandez, and you were watching Should Your Kids Play. Don't forget, if you want early access to content, drop down into the description of this video, 
go to my Patreon, subscribe if you want to, unlock all content ahead of time. Also, I promise you guys, this weekend, Media Literacy Corner, it's coming. Videos take a while. Give me some time, please. And I may even have a new podcast coming to the airwaves. So stay tuned, listen up, hit that subscribe, hit that like, show some love in the comments, and I'll see you all soon.